Greetings and welcome back. Last time I collected orb pieces and some other stuff. Might as well put more oil in my lantern. And I was entering a chancel. The fear had begun to drown him again. He reached once more for the empty bottle of laudanum. In frustration, he smashed it against the bedpost. I think we went over that one again. Well, already. Okay, going up the stairs. Wrong. I hear monsters. Why do I hear monsters? Usually the sound doesn't start until after I see them. What? Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> Sleep. Well, thanks, game. <sighs> what the hell was I supposed to do? They're just waiting for me. In the ambush. Three of them. What? Hazel spent all summer in bed. He used to read to her after helping father with his work. In his mind, he was like Shahrazad, and as long as he kept telling the story, she would not die. I'm guessing this is one of those... Um, you're supposed to die moments. Because in game, you there's. Worried. Quite frankly, I'm not sure what to do with you. I hold no grudge against you, Daniel. We are so very much the same, you and I. Did really? You really drink from the amnesia mixture. It does explain so much of your behavior. You never did finish what you set out to do. You talked about redemption, how you would face the orb's shadow and save our work and me. I will grant you another chance to redeem yourself. You can wait here and stop the shadow. Thank you, friend. Rakesha. Well, well, I ticked someone off. Oil note. There's little left to say. I write solely to prevent myself from revisiting the memories of these last few days. If I'm fortunate, I will fall asleep and time will pass without effort. I have begun to wean myself of my prison. When I first arrived, I felt like I was being buried inside a tomb. But now I feel the close walls comforting me. As long as I am in here, there is no pain. The walls protect me from the outside. I even laughed earlier as one of my wardens dropped a key down the pipes. It gave me hope for a second, thinking I could escape if only I could somehow reach it from here. In my dreams, Alexander, I am king. In my dreams, I best you and escape your clutches. 
and return with all the knights of the realm carrying pistols and sabers in my dreams. And how did that work out in reality? What? Well, that was just unnecessary. And here, I thought you were both doing the jump scare thing now. Laudanum. A bucket. And a tinder. I think the bucket has something to do with the well in the middle of the room. I guess it goes the other way. Before I head out, I'm going to check the time again, because I have the tendency to always forget just when I started. I'll be right back. And looks like I've got about seven or so minutes left, we'll see. And... Time to get back to where I was. What? I'm being chased again? God damn it. Running, running! Right is always right! Shit! Right was not right this time! Left. Right. Left. Left. Down in the water. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Stairs, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Door, Nave, Nave. When Hazel turned 15, she had lived three years longer than Dr. Tate had foreseen. Her parents had given up from exhaustion and decided to have her committed for permanent treatment at Canterbury Hospice. But she was still alive. She had embraced him and wished him a grand adventure in Algeria. Hey. Not sure what was going on, but I just knew I did not want to stick around. No, sir. Can 
box? Note. Whoa! Now is not the time to freak out. Alexander became silent. He didn't know what to say. He could no longer recognize his friend sitting across the carriage. 18th of August, 1839. Tonight, we will unlock the power of the orb and ultimately banish the shadow hunting me. I feel it closing in on me and I fear for my life more than ever. Just outside Altstadt lies a small settlement where Zimmerman, a dairy farmer, lives with his wife and three children. Alexander was able to strike the Zimmerman down without alerting the other. As he went to take care of the farmhands, he began to look for the children. We should have more than enough prisoners to finish the ritual now. crying had stopped, and I could hear a whisper coming from the cell. They're up to something, and he would have to punish them. Okay, time to wake up, Daniel. Give it the bone. Water. Okay. My bucket. No, he stole my bucket. Bastard. Of course. Even near you. <sighs> Jerk fleshy things. It's about time for me to end this episode, so I'll see you next time.